thing about the Saturn V is it's just enormous by any standards. And the challenge was, how do you film that? Because you can't, you, you can just about, if you go a long way away with a big wide lens, fit it in shot. But that doesn't tell you anything about the scale of this thing. And you realise that it takes you about two or three minutes to walk along it. And so we thought, well, let's do that then. But of course, if you want to do that, then you can't cut. You know, you've got, you've got to have one shot that, that tells you the scale of this thing. This is the spacecraft that took John Young, Ken Mattingly and Charlie Duke to the moon. It's the service module and the command module. That's the engine that fired to bring them back from the moon to the Earth. The lunar lander sat inside there. And this piece is essentially a single rocket motor that fired to take them from Earth orbit to the moon. So this is the 120 ton moon spacecraft, if you like. But from a physics perspective, the difficulty is getting that into orbit. And on a Saturn V, that was done in two bits. And this is stage two. And that is a stage two fuel tank. Inside there are 450 tonnes of rocket fuel. And this burnt through those 450 tonnes in about six minutes, taking the spacecraft from an altitude of 200,000 feet, 38 miles up to 114 and a half miles. That's virtually in orbit. And it did that by burning the fuel in five engines. Now at the time, that was one of the most powerful rockets ever built, but well, not the most powerful. That was this, stage one the Saturn V. There are 2,200 tonnes of fuel in here, and stage one burnt through that in about two and a half minutes. To do that, it had fuel pumps that were more powerful than a 747 at liftoff, to pump 15 tonnes of fuel a second into these, the F1 engines. In those two and a half minutes when this spacecraft was lifting off, the power generated was more than the peak electrical power generation capacity of the United Kingdom. And it's one of my favourite shots that, that, that I've ever been involved in because it was so, so difficult 